Two big debates happening tonight with a lot at stake just two weeks ahead of the midterm elections. And we're talking about the U.S. Senate race in Pennsylvania that has John Fetterman facing off against Dr. Oz. The two will debate for the only time tonight. Joining us now for more, Pennsylvania Congressman, former U.S. Navy JAG officer Guy Reschenthaler. Guy, good to see you. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me on. Uh, I'm really excited about this debate tonight. And one of the reasons is, is because this is Dr. Oz's medium. He's an incredible communicator, and I predict that when Dr. Oz wins this race, he's going to become a, a prominent spokesperson for the conservative movement. He can articulate our message like no one that we've seen before. He would, I would argue, rival even Ronald Reagan in terms of messaging, messaging ability. And I would, hate, I would hate to be Fetterman on this debate stage tonight because Fetterman's policies are far too radical for Pennsylvania. If you look at his issues on crime, wanting to legalize all drugs, including heroin, uh, when we have this opioid epidemic in Pennsylvania and elsewhere. If you look on his releasing 10,000 prisoners, his cheering on Krasner in Philadelphia as Krasner releases, releases individuals uh, and, and that go on to repeat more crimes and murder, I might add. Mm. Yeah. If you look at his position on natural gas and saying that we should ban fracking and that fracking is a stain on Pennsylvania, these are far too radical for the average voter in Pennsylvania. So Fetterman's in a box. Either he doubles down on far left radical policies or he tries to moderate and he, he, he gets his base to disengage. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how this plays out. We weren't even sure if this would happen. Um, and his team, sir, they're already putting out, you know, they're trying to manage expectations here, saying, well, you know, Dr. Oz, this is really, he's good at this. And, you know, we admit that, that Fetterman is not, this isn't his, his um, you know, his best ability here to, to debate on stage. But I do have to wonder, though, after, you know, tonight, how the media will respond. Because if Dr. Oz appears too tough, I could see them coming at him. How do you think he has to handle this? Just focus specifically on the issues? We, of course, you always have to be cognizant of who you're debating and where you are in the debate. If somebody starts to fall apart and get soft and you continue to be aggressive, you look like a bully. Dr. Oz will be able to have that nuance. I've seen him at numerous town halls. Again, he has lots of experience dealing with a crowd with his show. So if there's anybody that can handle that, it's Dr. Oz. Now, if you look at the health issue with Fetterman, I think that's a losing argument because the far left and, the, and the, the radical Democrats, they don't care about someone's health. Joe Biden hid in a basement in Delaware and, and became the president last cycle. For them, it's all about ideology. They don't care about competency. In fact, they like it when the elected official isn't fully with it or fully engaged because then the radical staff can really run the office. Yeah, Again, yeah. you're seeing that with Joe Biden. That's why Dr. Oz should focus on the issues. Remember that Fetterman said that his big criticism of Biden, that Biden didn't spend enough money. You've got people struggling to pay for Thanksgiving dinner. You've got people struggling to fill up their gas tank. You've got people struggling to just afford everyday grocery. And this guy is saying that his, the biggest criticism of Biden is that he didn't inject more money into the economy. It's unbelievable. It's crazy. Stuff. Yeah, and I just, I, I'm stunned that CNN had polling out this morning that gives Fetterman a seven point lead. Again, look at the source, it's CNN. So, so you know, take that for what it's worth. But I, so I've never seen this before in a, a, a debate, a candidate say, hey, look, the other guy's really good at TV and debating, so don't expect much right. out of me. As long as I live through it and make it through, that's A-OK. -okay. Um, I'm wondering what you make of that, but also, I don't think Dr. Oz, I think there's a lot of pressure on Dr. Oz because he's the TV guy, but also because how do you attack a guy that gets to use closed captioning? So Oz will say something and then Fetterman gets to wait, read it off a computer screen, think about his response and then try to as eloquently as humanly possible respond to whatever Oz says. How do you have a good debate with that? How do you win a debate with that format? So, so I'm a big believer that there's no such thing as winning a debate. You can only lose a debate. So you just have to go in and not lose. Trust me, somebody that's as competitive as me and competitive as Dr. Oz, that's tough to go in with that mindset, but that's just political reality. Now, what Fetterman is, is going to do is he's going to use the closed caption, the delay, and I think he's going to use it to gain an advantage. And exactly. I'm not pulling that out of thin air. You saw it in that legacy media interview where the interviewer said, she said that he struggled to answer my questions before he had the closed caption. He had the time delay. God only knows who is typing in what is being fed to Fetterman. Right. But right. I, good I would point. Say this. Yeah. Really good point. It, it, it's thank you. So it's they'll use the clock. The to, they'll use the, the computer screen to run out the clock. 
Is that what you're saying? Yes. Interesting. Yes, absolutely. And and I would say it's who's to say that he's not getting fed answers. But it, but at the end of the day, I would still say it doesn't matter because the Democrats are going to focus on the ideology. Mm-hmm. What Dr. Oz needs to do is show how radical Fetterman is and box him in. Because Fetterman is in a lose lose again. He doubles down on the failed radical policies that scare average uh, yeah. voters, or he tries to moderate and he alienates his base. He's in a very tough spot. That's why Dr. Oz is in a very good position. I dare say win this debate. Again, you don't win debates, right. but he's in a lose. very good job. <laughs> exactly. Like he's in a very words. good job to yeah. force a loss onto Fetterman. All right. All right. We, we will all be watching tonight. Congressman Rushenthaler, thank you so much, sir. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Alex.